Hey guys, welcome to the Max Invest YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a few huge announcements that happened for Ethereum. Recently, TikTok, Visa, and one of the biggest banks in France announced that they are going to be using Ethereum and depending on Ethereum. Now, in my opinion, Ethereum is slowly becoming the global settlement layer of the world, and this really proves what is happening. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, join the Discord, and remember, nothing in this video is financial advice. So, the first big announcement was from Visa. Now, many of you would know Visa. Visa is one of the payment giants. Visa has a market capitalization of $400 billion, and every time you pay somebody with your credit card or debit card, well, Visa gets a cut out of that payment. So Visa is a huge company, and Visa have essentially said that they want to build a universal hub to exchange stable coins and central bank, di bank digital currencies. Visa have essentially said that they want to build a layer 2 solution on top of Ethereum that anybody can transact on. And this is absolutely massive news, probably the biggest bit of news that Ethereum has ever gotten in my opinion. So essentially what Visa have done is Visa have said that they're going to build a universal payment system on top of Ethereum. Now, let's discuss exactly what a universal payment system would look like, how that universal payment system will be on top of Ethereum, and why that universal payment system will be on top of Ethereum. Essentially, the way that Visa want to do it is that every time you send money to someone else, it's on top of the Ethereum network. So, essentially, what's going to happen over the next couple of years is central banks like the US Bank, the Australian Bank, the Chinese Bank are all going to make central banking digital currencies. Now, these will be completely centralized dollars that are issued by the countries that are cryptocurrencies. As such, what Visa have said that they are going to do is they are going to facilitate the transactions of these cryptocurrencies or these central banking digital currencies on top of a layer 2 network on Ethereum. Now, the reason that you would do this is everything is fully transparent. On top of Ethereum, you can see every single transaction that was made, where it went, and it's stored there forever. Now, you can also verify every single transaction of Ethereum. You can see if any transactions are fraudulent, and this will be very, very useful. Also, Ethereum is completely immutable. It can't be tampered with, and this is a very safe way to store all of the world's transaction data on top of. This is essentially why I believe Visa would be doing this. So, how big is this? Well, what this is going to mean, and I do believe that this is going to happen within the next 5 to 10 years, is every time you send money to someone, so if I send money to someone on Westpac, if I send $5 to someone, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be paying Ethereum in gas fees, and that transaction will be facilitated on top of the Ethereum network. Now, this is going to work very seamlessly. I'll send $5 to someone, Visa will take a tiny cut of that $5, and then when Visa gets a lot of fees, they'll bundle it all up, they'll pay those fees to the Ethereum network, as a result, all of the transaction data will be publicly stored on the blockchain, and this is essentially the future. This means anytime someone sends money, anytime a bank sends money to another bank, an individual sends money to someone, it will all be recorded and stored on Visa, as or on the Ethereum network. Essentially, Visa have said that they want to put the entirety of global payments on the Ethereum network. Now, Visa haven't begun developing this yet properly, and it is still in the early planning stages. Not everything has been planned out just yet, however, I do believe that the entirety of global payments will be put on top of the Ethereum network, and as a result, Ethereum is going to get a lot more value to it, as it simply is going to happen. Blockchain is the future, all of our assets, all of our money will eventually come on chain, and Visa have verified this here today for us, which is huge news. Now, Visa have said that they're going to be building their own Layer 2 scaling solution to do this. Of course, the reason for this is so it's a lot cheaper for individuals to transact between each other. 
Essentially, in my opinion, Visa will probably use state channels. Now, Visa haven't announced how they're going to build this Layer 2 scaling solution just yet, so I am just speculating right now. Essentially, what happens in a state channel is individuals transact off-chain. Individuals send money to each other, get money back, and they all transact off-chain. However, all of these transactions are finalized on-chain in a small cryptographic proof. Essentially, what this means is it's very, very cheap, and you still get Ethereum's decentralization and security. Of course, you will need to pay Ethereum in gas fees to do this, as it will eventually be settled on the main chain. So this is a very good scaling solution, and if Visa are watching, which they're most definitely not, I would suggest state channels, as it's probably the best option to use for specifically a payment system. Of course, Visa could use a whole bunch of other scaling solutions, such as rollups, validiums, plasmas, however, I do think state channels would be best suited to Visa in this case. So essentially, that's the end of the news with Visa. Visa have basically announced that they're starting to build the entire global payment system on top of Ethereum, and Ethereum is still sitting at 3,000 US dollars. Let that sink in. The next big bit of news is one of France's biggest investment banks called Society General is doing a lot of new things on Ethereum. Essentially, Society General is one of the biggest banks in France, and it has $1.788 trillion worth of assets assets under management. It's also making $24 billion a year, so it's absolutely massive. Now, a couple of months ago in April, this bank launched $100 million worth of government bonds off the Ethereum network. A huge move for Ethereum and a huge move for banks, bringing assets on chain, and this is very good to look at. Now, just a couple of days ago on Thursday, this bank essentially applied for a $20 million loan on top of MakerDAO, and they wanted to use those assets as collateral. They wanted to use their bonds that they issued on the Ethereum blockchain as collateral for a $20 million loan. So this is some huge developments in the space, and it shows that banks all around the world are starting to use Ethereum. This is just the start. However, I do expect this to continue happening into the future and keep going into the coming years. This bank has talked about bringing more and more assets on chain. They have said that they do want to bring the majority of their assets on chain. Now, the reason for this is because you can track every asset, every asset is publicly verifiable, every asset is stored on Ethereum forever, and you may as well do it. I do believe that eventually all banks are going to bring all of their assets on chain, and Society General is one of the first banks to start doing this, one of the biggest banks in France already launching bonds on chain, already applying for the loans on chain, and it really does look like they have a very, very bright future ahead of them, and Ethereum, therefore has a very bright future ahead of it. So, it really does look self-evident that all financial institutions and all banks will eventually be using Ethereum. The biggest players in the entire world have already started making out plans to use Ethereum, and it looks very good. Now, this is one of the reasons why I'm not that worried about regulation. A lot of people are worried about regulation on cryptocurrencies. However, when all of the biggest banks and financial institutions are dependent on the Ethereum network, well, the government is going to need to accommodate for that if they want to have any economic growth, and I expect this to happen. Now, the last big bit of news is TikTok have announced that they're going to be using the Ethereum network. Essentially, TikTok has 1 billion users, and it's a company that's valued at over $100 billion. So, this company is absolutely massive, and it's using Ethereum's NFTs. Essentially, what TikTok have said is that they're going to be partnering with Immutable X. Immutable X is a Layer 2 scaling solution on top of Ethereum that's specifically designed for NFTs. Basically, Immutable X uses zero-knowledge technology to make the transaction fees a lot cheaper, so it only costs a couple of cents every time you want to buy and sell an NFT, which is great. What TikTok have done is that they're announcing their first ever NFT collection. This NFT collection is called TikTok Top Moments. Now, the point of this NFT collection is for individuals to reward the creators. 
What this means is there'll be a bunch of NFTs created by and for the most famous creators. As a result, individuals will be able to buy these NFTs and the proceeds will go directly to those creators. This will help out the creators on TikTok and this will probably be quite fun for the community. Now, this is like Visa. Essentially, this announcement isn't too big. It's definitely a big announcement. However, there's a lot more that TikTok could do with Ethereum. In my opinion, I believe TikTok are going to be using Ethereum and Immutable X a lot more into the future. TikTok have said that they're partnering with Immutable X, and this probably means that they are going to continue using it into the future. Essentially, with Visa, I said that Visa was probably going to use Ethereum a lot more. Visa bought a CryptoPunk off the Ethereum network just a couple of months ago, and I essentially said I do believe Visa are going to make a lot more plans to be working with Ethereum into the future. Of course, this ended up happening. This partnership essentially shows that one of the big biggest companies in the entire world is embracing cryptocurrency and using the Ethereum network. As a direct result, this company will probably use Ethereum a lot more into the future. This isn't just speculation, this is definitely going to happen. They've partnered with an Ethereum based layer 2 scaling solution and I can guarantee that once this NFT collection makes TikTok a lot of money, TikTok are going to be going more and more into NFTs and eventually TikTok will probably become an application on the Ethereum blockchain. In my opinion, this isn't speculation, I can see all of this happening and I am sure that a lot of these bigger companies already using Ethereum will continue to do more and more to Ethereum and this is why I believe that Ethereum will continue to appreciate into the next couple of years. Anyway, this brings us to the end of the video. It shows that tons and tons of different things are happening for Ethereum right now. The biggest companies in the world are partnering with and using Ethereum and are more bullish than ever. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.